they were not sure to send me at the World Championship. So 10 days before the World Championship, I've done the first race with the foil. That was the trial. And everyone was saying, ah, but you're crazy, you're crazy, you are using that, you have never raced. But after 300 meters, the race was finished. I mean, I was having a lot more speed. Hi everyone, I Aram. I'm uh, here on Lake Pusiano where I've prepared the World Championship uh, with an underfoil. I mean, I've read about them on a newspaper and I was already thinking it was a good idea, uh, at least from the, the, the article they were writing. So I went to the website of Jan and I started to read a bit the blog and the, the tryout that they have already done. And after every line that I was reading, I was thinking, oh, that's really interesting, that's a really cool idea. And then I just bought it. And after three days they arrived and I started to use it. But not really for the goal to use it at the World Championship, because it was too early, but I've decided it looks like a thing that can help me to improve or to gain a couple of seconds or and I say ah, why why don't give it a try I mean we suffer a lot for training diet and try to reach 0.5 second with the boat weight or with everything and why don't try something that seems able to give you like 5% more on your race speed so I place it on my oars and I start to train Well, straight after the first try, uh, the first day I've placed it on my oars, that day I was thinking, okay, what, what I should try? And pedaling was like too easy. I mean, you try pedaling and you don't understand anything because you can push more or less and you can make your mind going for the improvement more than your body. So I say, okay, I just do four times 2K. Of course, you cannot do four times 2K full out, just trying a new thing. So I've decided to do for time to K build up. So it was 24, 26, 28, 30. And it's a workout that I was doing pretty much once a week, uh, even more. So that day, doing, uh, doing that, that pieces, that 2K in one direction and also in another direction to see the difference of wind, that luckily that day was zero. I've seen like 10 second improvement and in two of them even 15 so I was already thinking okay this is a lot faster so probably they were giving me more around 30 of course I have adapted myself uh, quite quick to that to them and slowly in the training after I was noticing a bigger improvement the first time the more struggle I have had at 30, of course, because I was not used to the different blade um, weight and the different angles and a bit the fact that you have something new on a blade. But slowly I uh, was getting comfortable also at 30 and more. So I have done trials for my federation because they were not sure to send me at the World Championship. So 10 days before the World Championship, I've done the first race with the foil. That was the trial. And everyone was saying, ah, oh, but you're crazy, you're crazy, you are using that, you have never raced. But after 300 meters, the race was finished. I mean, I was having a lot more speed. Adaptation with the rubber foil, I went quite quick. Uh, as I told you, the first workout I've done was for time 2K. Uh, the thing is that it takes a little bit to lose the feeling that the, the blade is heavier, like because you, uh, you have that extra part uh, of the foil. And, and slowly you adapt to pedaling, like I think after the first try. Thing that you have to understand how much you can push because they give you a lot more uh, grip on the water. So I've seen that I was also able to do a 500 meter like three, four, five seconds faster than usual, but was costing a lot of energy. So 
uh, what I've done is working a lot on weights and working a lot of heavier gear. Of course, because I having I was having a short period to be ready to use it. But after one month, I was perfectly comfortable with them, also in high rating. So the adaptation is quite quick. Of course, more time you have, and better it is. For sure, as every every innovation, you have also the right mindset to use it, and you have to go out and think, okay, it's gonna work. Uh, is gonna make me better. You cannot go out and think, no, this is bullshit, this is something that is not working because you are already losing at the start. As, as if you have a training program and you don't trust in the training program, you will never have a good result with that. So you have to be, to be a open mindset and think, okay, I want to have the best out of this foil and see how fast I can go. Then, you try, you try, you try until you don't arrive at the point that you understand that you are faster. And, and if you are not convinced, it's better not to use it. I mean, I was really convinced after the first try that they were making me faster. And and I've continued using it. Some days I was thinking, oh, it's too hard, it's too heavy, but it was heavy but fast. I mean, I was pushing a little bit more. The blade was more connected to the water, and of course the boat was heavier, <laughs> there is no doubt. But I was always thinking, okay, but what happens if I want to go faster on the air? I have to push more, so I get more tired. There is no easy way of being fast. If you want to go fast, you have to suffer a little bit more. And, and the air comes around the foil. And they give you that extra connection at the catch, but you have to be able to handle it, or you have to work to be able to handle it, that's that's my opinion. And I was really surprised that no one was using it, but I was also understanding because it's difficult. Like, it's difficult to uh, trust in something that no one has used it before, and when it gets heavy, you think, but why? It should not be heavy, the boat should move without uh, fatigue. But it's not true. If you want to go faster, you have, you have, to feel it harder.